A normal Friday morning at the Aston Beach Memorial Park led to a shocking discovery when someone noticed a gill net abandoned in the waters with several baby sharks trapped and dead. So DAR staff then responded to that and recovered the gill net and recovered eight uh, dead baby black tip sharks. Biologist Brent Tibbet says the Guam Department of Agriculture's Division of Aquatic and Wildlife Resources is investigating the incident. Looking at the, the size of the sharks that were recovered, they're probably less than a month old. They're a week old is nearly this size, so they were, they were pretty young. Black tip reef sharks are non-aggressive, known to frequent Guam's shallow waters, and are commonly spotted by snorkelers and divers. They maintain coral reef health and also have local significance. Reef sharks like this are, are do good things for the reef fish population around the world, but certainly on Guam, and they really are an important part of the uh, ecosystem and should be, should be there. To, to lose eight like this is really unfortunate. One of the few fishing regulations Guam has prohibits the abandonment of gill nets or vertical walls of netting used to trap fish. Gill nets on Guam, when you set a gill net, it has to be manned. There has to be somebody nearby watching it. And this is one of the main reasons. If you catch something that you don't want, that you can release it before it's killed. The black tip reef shark is fish for shark fin soup. While that's legal, its commercial sale is not. A Guam law passed in 2010 bans the possession and sale of shark parts. You can't commercialize the fins. If you sell shark, it has to have fins intact. It has to be intact. Also, if you kill things that you're not planning to harvest, that's wanton waste, and that is also a violation of Guam law. So the unmanned gill net and wanton waste are two violations that you're, you're dealing with. There are important legal protections in place to prevent incidents like this from happening. If you are gillnet fishing, make sure you know what the regulations are regarding gillnet fishing. If a net out cannot be out longer than six hours, it has to be manned. Somebody has to be watching it the entire time to, to release non-target species. Uh, there, are, there are length regulations and mesh size regulations for gillnet, and you, it is illegal to sell fish caught with a gillnet. Meantime, DAR is also actively investigating another incident after a larger, mature black tip shark was found dead on Sunday night in the same area, though not in a gillnet. If you have any information on either incident or if you see an abandoned gillnet, call DAR at 671 735 0294. Matsuki Hirayama, KUEM News.